I struggled with this one. I rewrote it a million times. I put off publishing it and rewrote it some more. And usually when you have to work this hard on something, when it's just not flowing or coming together, it's time to set it aside and move on to something new. But of course I did not. In this case, I had to write my way all around the edges of the idea to finally find its center, which is this. Please don't let culture war disagreements over supposed core Christian values keep you from knowing Christ. Friends, it's a big tent and a very big God. And here's what I mean. You've heard of cafeteria Catholics, so-called because when it comes to church doctrine, they believe a little of this and a little of that. Well, I was raised Catholic, so I get it. And if logic follows, you could call me a cafeterian Presbyterian. I couldn't resist. Um, but what I mean is I believe a little of this and a little of that, or more accurately, most of this, but not all of that. For better or worse, that is the garden in which my faith grows. And God promises this for every seeker. We will find fertile soil where our faith will take root and our lives will become transformed. We become partners with God and everything changes. If you're like me, a little bit at a time over many years. So if you're not comfortable with some assert to be Christian family values, remember that even among theologians and scholars who spend their lives studying scripture, there is often disagreement about what the Bible is saying and teaching, especially when it comes to divisive culture war issues. Jesus told us what is most important to him in his two great commandments. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. That is the first and great commandment. And the second is just like it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Matthew 22. Friends, this is the Christian Cliff Notes. When we move in this way, we are moving closer to God. This is the frame I put around every issue, whether cultural or personal. Is it loving? This is what I consider to be Christian family values. A noted evangelical pastor, Dr. Robert Cook, whose Walk with the King broadcasts had been a guiding light of mine for decades. On the very rare occasion when he is not absolutely certain about what the Bible is saying, will joke. You don't have to agree with me on this, but when we get to heaven, you'll see that I'm right. And then he chuckles. And I smile every time because that works for me. And I hope it works for you. Now, the song pairing is God is Love, which is the title song for my very first CD. And as you'll hear, my theology really hasn't changed all that much. I like this early recording because I can hear the individual voices from my church family rising up behind me, familiar and reassuring in one shared message. God is love. Until next time, stay safe, be brave, and keep walking in the light.